are back with gold stagecoach gold on the x17 serves the high profile service that runs pretty much through south yorkshire and through derbyshire linking barnsley meadowhall sheffield chesterfield and matlock it's basically the backbone to travel in sort of north and south throughout this part of the uk so in this video there's not really that much of a plan in all honesty um, i'm setting off on this bus it's about midday just after midday about half half 12 that, yeah, that's the one half 12 sort of lose track when you've been doing work in the morning and then you disappear off but we're setting off about half 12 we're going to get this to chesterfield and we're just going to see where we end up and back in the day for those of you who have watched the vlogs and the videos for years now and um, we'll know that what we used to do was quite a common thing of mine was to set off from leeds and from west yorkshire and to see how far south we could get and travelling to Derbyshire and all of that, I always love Derbyshire um, and we're going to do a similar thing in this video, there's no real plan there's a few vehicles I wouldn't mind ticking off, there's a few vehicles I am sort of looking out for today um, but we'll see what happens, we'll have a bit of a random trip out so it's a little bit of exploring Derbyshire and beyond and that's pretty much what the video is hopefully I'll, I'll, I'll get a chance to explain to you a few of my random video ideas that are coming for later this year we'll have a few rides out and a few interesting buses I'll tell you the history about stuff that I know um, and hopefully it'll be a nice decent afternoon and a decent video for you guys to watch so I'll show you some, a few views of the lovely lovely sunshine as we head over to Chesterfield on our first of hopefully many buses this afternoon on, another, on a little exploration trip of Derbyshire and beyond Thank you. Something a bit different on the pronto. Service issues to be shared, which I'm part of, now full of them by stagecoach. So 
so I'll show you a few more views as we make our way round to Mansfield. My first visit to Mansfield as well on the Pronto service with this absolutely lovely vehicle. Thank you. So here we are back, out of, I say back, here we are in Mansfield after a lovely ride on 18164 that will now be continuing over to Nottingham. again seems to be a lot of first times for this video i'm doing this up to sut and i'm hoping to make a connection there with an up there so all of all being well um, because I, I was originally going to go for the nines unfortunately but you've got to remember there is still a driver staff shortage so a few nine points of miss 9.1 9.3s so in order to still get where i want to be for the time i want to be we're going to do things a little bit differently but hopefully by the sounds of it this sounds nice it should still be worth it so i'll share a few views as we make our way over to Sutton in Ashfield. Thank you. So here we go in Sutton and that was 821. First time again at this bus station. It's giving off good vibes that there's a pub next door, I must say. Um, so we're going to hang on. It is actually this stop we're waiting at as well for the 90 route. The 90 route running hourly. It's one of the very, very few Trent Parton routes that isn't branded. And um, connecting Sutton to Ripley, where hopefully when we get to Ripley, um, we'll jump straight on a comet and head northbound again. Slightly different to me intended plan, um, but still a nice little run around, something a bit different and sampling. Yet another new route um, to add to the list of other ones that are brand new to me today. Thank you. So we're in a really random place, um, just north of Ripley, and I'm about to jump on this new bus.
Thank you. See you later. So there we go, so we're in Alfton, that was 261. You recognise Alfton from a few videos uh, many, many years ago. And it's one of my all time favourite places, don't ask me why, random one, but I always have a soft spot for this place. There's also a very, very famous video on YouTube um, of sort of like how much to Alfton from the NBC days, um, the NBC being National Bus Company days. So do feel free to um, check that one out. I will be doing a video around that actually um, and the route that that originates on very, very soon. So I want to welcome with Littles. So it's a little bit of a rattle in you to wonder, but let me just sum up what we've just been on the past few buses as it has been a bit of a rush. So we jumped off 462, the Ted Barton Solo, and up to an FEO2, FEO2 registered up to Solo, the last of the 2002 registers that Trent Barton themselves still run. There's a little school bus on the deckers over there on a red fence. So what we're on now um, is we've just come up here on a E200 MMC 261, one of my all-time favourite batch of E200 MMCs, with them being six pots, absolute tanks going up hills and things, going along dual carriageways. If you do ever get a chance to go on one on the nines, I do highly recommend it, as they are absolutely astonishing vehicles. So we are now on a 65 Ridge Littles E200. We're on the 142 service to Belper again. We're just keeping going. Today I thought we'd head over to Belper now, part of the actual Derbyshire part of it. Seeing as we spent a bit of time in Nottinghamshire. We're going over to Belper now. We're then going to try to do a trans peak or a 6.1 Trevartan um, Sixers Rust. One of the two up to Matlock and then link onto our X17 up to Sheffield as our last bus of the day. So it should still be good. This goes past Christ Tramway Museum, I'm hoping to do a video on them very, very soon. Should be a nice run. I haven't been on this E200 before, I haven't been on this route before again. Seems to be a common trend. Um, so it should be a good run. Show a few more clips as usual as we make our way over to Belper. That is one of my, you'll see why when we get there why, but it is one of my all time favourite bus stations, is Belper bus station. So I'll show you a few more views and I'll see you when I get there. There we go, swap the little bus and into Belper bus station. And as you can see, it doesn't look like a bus station. I've inspired onto two maps of this, among with other things, but this is actually a converted bus carriage. You can walk in, there's two entrances into it. You can walk in the one that we've just done or walk down there. I usually do that one, um, but it is the base for the Sixers, owned by Trent Barton, as you can see. And is quite frankly one of my all time favourite bus stations in the UK. With the idea that it is just this really cool converted bus garage into a bus station. It is actually still used as a bus depot, as you can see. There's stands here um, when, it, when it loads, there you go. Um, and they're still used for overnight and storage. There's still like a driver area as well, an office, and where they change sort of drivers and start shift, end shift. So there's still a lot to it. Um, but it is now also used as a bus station. Very, very cool, um, and I do recommend a visit if you do get a chance.
Thank you, see you later. See you later. So here we go, out to Matlock Interchange. Matlock has two bus stations. That has this one. The nice look, the, the nice railway station style interchange one. It's not well that's not as well used as the Bakewell Road one that you see very shortly. The, it's not as nice as this. It is looking quite old and um as roughly about, about the same amount of services serving it. So we're going to have a wander around now. It is about half five, so I'm going to go and find something to have a little snack. going to find somewhere to get a snack from. And then we've got our bus at 20 past six um, back on the stagecoach Gold X17 to Chesterfield and Sheffield. And on our last bus of the day, that is, I believe, triple one eighteen, and got a lovely front row seat with the comfy stagecoach gold tickets, or oh, not tickets, stagecoach gold seats. I saw some tickets on the seats that attracted me. Stagecoach gold seats all the way to Sheffield. So I'll show you a few views, and then I'll pass you into the studio and for some of what we've done today. So to sum up what we did in this video, the places that we visited, we started off at Sheffield, went down to Chesterfield, then went over to Mansfield um, before moving on to Trent Barton, over to Sutton, catching their 90 service to just north of Ripley, going to Alfreton on the 9s, then catching a little bus on the 142 to Belper, a Trans Peak by High Peak buses up to Matlock and then back on the Stagecoach Gold X17 all the way from Matlock to Chesterfield and Sheffield. In total, um, on this adventure, we managed eight different buses um, with at least three different bus operators, including Stagecoach, two different divisions, Yorkshire and East Midlands. Um, so it was a pretty cool um, day out, to be fair. I managed quite a few different companies, um, different operators and different routes and travelling to brand new places that haven't been previously. Well, that's what adventuring is all about, to be fair. So we've pretty much summed it up. So if you are enjoying these videos, I'm sort of going back to basics on this. Um, unfortunately, not got as much time at the moment to pre-plan videos like I used to. So I'm just jumping on a bus and heading out somewhere. I'm going on an adventure, just like we used to do many, many years ago when I started filming um, sort of the real real world aspect of the bus industry. Um, so hopefully for some of you who were watching back then, it's a bit of nostalgia. And for those of you who have joined us since then on the channel, hopefully it's something a bit new, a bit exciting and that you'll enjoy um, as we sort of hopefully bring on a few more videos and I do a few more adventures and bring you all along with me. And um, what's nice about these adventures as well is there's no purpose. We're not going for a specific bus or a specific brand. We are just having a random day out, seeing where we end up, travelling on some buses, travelling through some amazing bus stations and brilliant operators um, and just having a fun and having an interesting adventure. So if you have enjoyed this video and do want to see more, do click that like button um, and subscribe to the Ambar Central YouTube channel if you aren't already. Any backseat recordings that were taken um, during this sort of focus around the engines of the vehicles will be available on my sister channel and more bus videos. The link to that in the, is in the description below and that is the one-stop shop um, with a massive library of over 3,000 backseat and engine-focused vehicle videos. So do go and check that channel out. And if you haven't already, be sure you subscribe to this and that channel. Um, thanks again um, all for watching once again. And I will see you all in the next video I make. Goodbye for now. Bye.